When asked uh, some of the questions that a CISO typically gets, um, what's it like being a CISO? How do you uh, focus your team's work? And how do you work with vendors? Um, one of the things I like to mention is just being authentic and genuine. And there's a million ways to be authentic and genuine, but there's also a million ways to you know, be inauthentic and disingenuous. And so figure out what your particular you know, story is in, in talking with me as a potential customer. And of course, treat me as a partner, not as just a uh, quota on your way to a revenue goal. Uh, listen and not just hear. Um, when you hear things, um, it's you know, sound vibrations on your eardrum. Uh, but when you actually listen, you should be able to reflect back to me at what I'm saying and what my needs are, what my pain points are in my own language, uh, not in your language. So uh, don't uh, use your own terminology. Do a little bit of research to figure out uh, what my industry uses to describe things. Because uh, it can be different, you know, by geography and by industry. Um, for example, the United Nations talks about, you know, informatics uh, instead of IT. Um, Another thing that I'd like to bring up is uh, the difference between sympathy and empathy. Sympathy is when you share somebody's feelings and you can only be sympathetic if you've been in that position and you've done the job that they're doing. Uh, but what you can do if you haven't uh, been a security officer or worked uh, as an individual contributor in a security role is to have empathy. Empathy is when you understand a person's feelings. And so I think that's an important uh, characteristic uh, in vendor uh, partner relationships you know, with uh, security companies and with our customers, myself included. I like to research and, and dive into you know, the personality uh, behind uh, the, uh, the role that I'm speaking with and to bring a level of humor to it. That's a great way to break the ice and it shows that you are human. It makes you human and it makes it possible for you to have a genuine and authentic conversation with me about solving my real world problems. And what are some of the problems the CISO has to deal with? Um, you never get to go on vacation. Uh, you're always on call and uh, uh, everything's outside of your control. It's almost like being an absentee landlord uh, where you have all the the worry of being a homeowner uh, without the joy of 100% control. Why? Because everyone you work with is a part of your security team in some sense. Uh, they're all part of the attack surface and so it can't be well within your control. Uh, but you can certainly build tools, process, and people uh, to help uh, make that uh, a survivable job title. And uh, if you can help me do that, if you can solve some of my problems uh, and uh, do it in an efficient uh, and uh, authentic way, uh, then I will take the call, I will listen to you, and I may well buy uh, your product.